until last week. And th there's an entire community on there where they basically accuse people of being munchies, aka people with Munchenhausen syndrome, which is an actual medical and mental health condition. I appeared on this thread and I was like, I literally, I documented every time I, my diagnosis has changed, everything, I've shown the paperwork, why am I getting accused of being a munchie? Which, for the record, I'm not. These people are like, oh they're just attention seeking and what struck me is Munchenhausen syndrome is an actual mental health condition. Like even if I was a munchie, for instance, does that make the issues that are at present any less valid? No. That's what's been bothering getting at me. I've been like, you're literally attacking an entire community of people who are actually ill. Yes, maybe not with like what they're claiming. Like there are some people who do fake illnesses. It is an actual condition. And what pissed me off about these threads is they're like, there's nothing actually wrong with them. But if they are that desperate, like they are that much in need of getting attention or whatever. There is something going on. I know some of my videos I come across as that I am dead set on things. Like with all the heart scans, there is something going on with that. There genuinely is an issue there and it terrifies me. And I think because I've only just started talking about it, because like I said in the first video I did about this, my granddad actually died of a heart attack back in 2015. I've never gotten over that myself so accepting the fact that the issue of my heart is a big fucking thing for me like such a hard thing for me to say because I'm terrified of it like I panic a lot about that and but I don't I haven't talked about that side of my life for a long time I haven't talked about his death on my channel like, I, I can't myself to talk about him because I was there and he died. Like, I, I watched him have a heart attack. I've seen that. That doesn't leave you. you. That is something you can never unsee. When I see people that are like, oh my god, she's just a munchie, it gets to me because I'm not faking anything. Everything in my life that I've put out there has happened. A system to a rant. People keep bringing up the police in Stuart Lancashire. So, I've been skating for two hours. My back has just completely given out. My blade nearly just flew off my shoe. Uh, I think I'm done for the day. Yeah, like, I'm skating. It's a thing I do. That was fun. It was fun. I had fun. I'm not waiting for the tube to go back to Waterloo. Then from Waterloo to New Orleans. And then I'm going to go from High Bay after I film a video for Louise and I'm going to film a video from my channel that kind of adds to this video Wet ice gates are not fun to carry Oh, I feel so limited like, I'm, I'm tired I need to replace the blades on my skates again though. I think I've got to do it for 20 past 4 and it's only 10 to 1 hour so I guessed right, I was booking it while I was skating but it's fucking hilarious but I'll explain that when I get in. People keep bringing up the police in Stuart and Lancashire and I actually did take the video down but I couldn't deal with the stress that it was causing me knowing that it was up. The reason it is not reported on, this is why I haven't made a follow up video on it, there is a legal suppression order in place. A, a suppression order means you cannot publicly talk about the case and because of what it is, no, it can't be talked about and was I wrong with posting that video? Hell yes I was. I should have waited until the case was over. Long story short, I I, at some point, need to come to an agreement with the prosecution as to when I can appear before a court um, to give a statement, testimony, whatever you want to call it. There are some parts of that whole thing that people have got completely wrong. I want to clear something up. I can't remember what I said in that video, but initially the police played on the fact that there was no CCTV in that cell. There was, hence the footage was accessed by both Lucian and my solicitor. I have seen the footage back of what happened. I was advised against it. I was advised against watching it because obviously anything like that traumatises anyone. I watched it back because my my memory of what happened was very, very scattered. I can't remember if that in this video or not. I, I can't remember. It was a long time ago. There was CCTV. They claimed on the fact that there wasn't. And when I started to fight them for it, it came out there was CCTV footage. And there was an ongoing court case. Because some of the people involved, the officers, owned up to it. And do you know what I will say to that? Those who actually accept 
that what they did was wrong are ten times better than people who are trying to cover their asses with it. That is all I'm comfortable talking about with that incident. I had to bring it up because people are throwing things out there like they can say what they want and it's wrong. I haven't made a second video on that because one, it was a fucking traumatising event and it has left me terrified like, every time. Like, when the police were here, I'm, well, sat Sunday when I tried to kill myself and I haven't talked about that on here either but um, on Sunday I did try and kill myself. I haven't spoken about that publicly properly but I don't want to. Um, I even said to the police then, I was like, your presence here terrifies me. You know, they agreed with me that what happened in Lancashire was wrong. Like, like I said, the charges against me got dismissed because the, my solicitor put in a no case to answer claim where if there's no case for you to answer to because the arrest was wrong is what a solicitor can put in place and the court agreed and accepted and the case was dismissed. And people are like, oh, she's a thief, she's stole, she's done this, she's done that and I haven't. That whole Poundland thing has been resolved. Done. It's been resolved, you know? Like, I don't keep bringing new subjects. These subjects keep getting brought up by the same group who have been commenting on the same things since May last year. And at this point, I am saying this now. Cease and fucking desist. I've been pretty chill about this whole thing. Take one tablet four times a day. This is one of two containers for the same medicine. Diazepam, five milligrams. 28 tablet. I don't lie about shit like this and I am sick to death of being told oh you shouldn't take benzos you should take this and the one that people keep saying that I don't get this is this is the backwards part like oh you should try pro progabalin. Progabalin is more addictive than fucking benzodiazepines. Get that into your head before you come after me for something. Especially when you don't know my list of fake notices. You don't you don't know my life. You are not here all the time. You see, what, 10, 20 minutes out of a day and you think you have a right to tell me that you know more than my psychiatrist, that you know more than my cardiology team, that you know more than my GP. And then there's the question of, oh, she has arthritis, so why is she ice skating? Because I don't give a fuck. I am 22. I, am, I might have arthritis and it might cause me a fuck on a pain. I have pain medication for that, you know, and I'm not gonna just sit and do fuck all because I'm in pain, you know, I'm gonna have my medication and I'm gonna go out and do what the hell I want to do until I can't. Did, did my last physiotherapist advise against me doing animal support? Yeah. Am I going to not do anything for the rest of my life? No. And then the people are like, oh, you, ha you have shit quality video. If people didn't stress me out so much, they'd be a hell of a lot better. But when it comes to sound, I have two microphones for the record. I have one that I usually connect to my laptop. And I have one that's attached to my camera. And then there's the actual inbuilt camera microphone. Obviously, when I film on my phone, quality is going to be shit. It's a fucking phone. Is Lydia abusing her medication? No. People see this big misconception that people with BPD should not be allowed medication. But what you have to realise is BPD co-occurs with other mental health conditions. They are what I take the medication for. I don't take medication for BPD. There is no medication for BPD. As some of you guys remember, I posted a video last year where I collapsed. My room is a literal rectangle. My camera was in front of me. When I got up, where do you want me to look other than straight ahead? Close my eyes or look to the, look to the right. Left even. I'm dyslexic. That's fine. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Looks to the right, turns it to the left. Fucking dyslexia. Yeah. Also, I passed my DVLA medical check, so uh, your girl can learn to drive now, officially. <laughs> this is what pissed me off a lot, and this is kind of what led to the whole Sunday thing where I tried to kill myself. Someone started on her saying that she was a bad driver and all this and all that, and someone fully went after her for it all. The one thing I won't put up with is my friends and people I'm close to getting attacked by people just for knowing me. Becca is a fully licensed and legal driver. So to the person who threatened to report her to the DVLA, fuck you. For God's sake, if I can pass a medical exam to drive, I think Becca's okay. And you know what? If I thought she was a risk on the road, I would not get in a car with her. Some of the hate that I've got is unbelievable. And whether you call it trolling, hating, or just commenting or stating their opinion, if it is hurtful, it is bullying. If you intentionally post them to hurt someone, that's malicious. So when I say hate, I am referring to those who troll, I'm referring to those who bully, I'm referring to those who leave hate comments, I'm referring to those who leave hateful opinions online. That is why I disabled the like and dislike ratio on my channel. Like it, it, it doesn't exist anymore, you guys can't see it. So that that's hilarious. I don't want to get to a point where I have to disable comments. Where do we go from here? My personal life and what I do with my mental health, my medication and all of that is no longer up for debate. Happily talk about the side effects, how my experiences 
and all of that were you telling me whether or not i should take certain medications for instance i, I can't get over it people are like i'll oh, take pregabalin instead i'm just like pregabalin is literally more addictive the benzos. What what the fuck are you talking about? Like if you Google Pregabalin, it literally comes up with these Pregabalin is the new Valium. And it's like it's more addictive. And I flat out refuse to go on it and I will continue to refuse to go on it because it's not because it's not a benzo. I don't like being on benzos. Literally ask my friends. I I hate being on them. But they help and there is a clear difference when I've had them and when I when I've had them I am a lot calmer, I'm more chill and I can get things done. When I haven't my thoughts are chaotic and it makes me very stressed and when I get stressed I Get suicidal and that's what i want to avoid i don't talk about all the reasons why i'm on my medication because that is none of your business and like i said at this point on, the, on this video on the, my my life like what treatment i have what medication i take is no longer up for discussion you no longer have a right to comment on whether what i'm doing is right or wrong my treatment team and myself know what is best for me not you i will still continue to post my journey on some videos i will be disabling comment because like i said it's not a debate my treatment is my treatment and I have every right to make my own decisions. I'm an adult. I have the right to decide. And people can be anti-benzo on me. People can be, oh, you shouldn't take benzos for more than this. I know people who've taken them for years and it still helps. And they can go without it. They don't depend on it. It's like I don't. I don't depend on it. Like, I take them when I need to. All of this stress that this has caused is ending now because it's nearly killed me twice. The third time isn't gonna happen because I'm not gonna allow it. So you can run to your Reddit post, you can run to your Twitter, you can run to your little gang of people, but I tell you this now, end this video here, I hope this cleared a few things up and explained where I've been, what's been going on, and yeah. Thanks for watching, and you are loved, you are cared about, stay safe and stay strong.